All right, guys, we're back again with another Wish app purchase. It's another portable gamepad or gamepad adapter. I say it because I don't know what to call this because it's not actually a gamepad. This one is a little different than the last two, which the first MV worked. The second MV Pro was garbage. Let's dive into this, open this box, see what comes in it because... I've already had some of the stuff fall out and it seems to come with more than it's stating on the box. But without any more babbling, let's check out this portable gamepad on this episode of Reviews by This Guy. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Reviews by This Guy. And as I said in the intro of this video, here is yet another portable gamepad. This is the JL01, and before we get to opening this box, seeing what's inside, seeing if this functions any better than the other ones, and if it's worth your money, I'd like to say, don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button, and don't forget to click that bell if you'd like to keep informed of new videos that I am uploading on the WeDeem channel. All right, let's get this guy out the box. And as you can see already, here is something that is not pictured on the box, and we can't tell what it is. Now, can we, and why can't we tell what it is? Because it doesn't even say what this is. Let's get this open, let's see what it is. All right, and here it goes. Here it is opened, and as you can see, these are some sort of triggers. And when you press the button, that actuates this arm here that pushes this pad down on the screen. So it uses the touchscreen controls, of course, like most of these controllers that I have been doing, or game pads or game pad adapters. Here is a second trigger here. See if I can get a close-up of what this looks like. And as you can see there, it actuates the pad that clicks the screen button. Let's see what else is in the box, which is funny that this came with it because I actually purchased these things or similar ones to this separately because I was interested to see how they work. I wasted quite a bit of money buying these things because I just was interested to see if it works. As you can see here, you get a microfiber cloth for cleaning the screen. I'm definitely gonna have to use that on this Galaxy S7. As you can see, this screen is pretty nasty. And you also get what appears to be an analog stick. And I guess, as you can see, the analog stick and that uses a pad on the inside to touch the screen as well. And I guess it somewhat hooks onto here. Let's go ahead, snap that in. I'll probably end up breaking it because you know, these things from China are always complete pieces of crap and they're made really cheaply. And I guess this then hooks onto what we're gonna take out of the box next. And that is the actual I guess grip you can call it and here goes the grip which already comes with one of the analog sticks on here so I guess this is just a replacement it doesn't look any different at all they both look pretty similar except for the plastic on here it looks a little larger than this one this is all plastic as you can see it stretches the accommodate the size of your phone I don't know if it's necessarily comfortable it's not really uncomfortable and it is made of course of a really cheap plastic let's go ahead get this guy in the phone get these triggers hooked up to the phone and let's get PUBG going because that seems to be the only game that I can get to map buttons or or change the orientation of the buttons touchscreen buttons on the screen so let's go ahead and get that done and here goes problem number one I don't know why they included these triggers in the box here because it, it doesn't work with this grip at all this as you can see 
There's no way of getting this in there where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be on the edge of your phone. So this locks in a place on the side of your phone and keeps this from sliding. It does not fit up there. So this is not going to work. That's already pointless. Thank you, Chinese. What was the point of putting that in the box? Those guys will be saved for another video because as I said, I did purchase similar ones to this separately. And at some point, I'm just going to piece one of these things together without an actual grip. All right, the good thing about this is unlike the other one, the MV Pro that I did a video on, which we'll link right up here if you're interested in seeing that video, this does not obstruct the volume rockers here so you can raise and lower the volume and it does not hit the power button so that's good it also does not touch the home button here so right off the bat this is way better after holding it for a little while it does feel all right in the hands it is kind of comfortable it's kind of better than just holding your cell phone because it brings your fingers down here and you're not trying to hold the phone like this and as you can see, I can move around, I can move forward. That button back there definitely has to be readjusted down a little bit, so let me go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's working pretty well, but I pretty much anticipated that these analog stick adapters here that utilize the touchscreen normally work pretty decent. I mean, they're not great. They're not going to replace your analog stick on an actual traditional gamepad, but I mean, if you want something cheap, it's not bad. I finally got a gun here. And as you can see, I killed somebody, so this grip is working pretty well. It doesn't have any triggers, unfortunately, because honestly, you can't fit any triggers on here with this grip. So it doesn't work all that well. It would have been nice to have some triggers included. Your index fingers do have a resting area in the back here. Be nice if I could get some clothes and stop being butt naked. Well, I'm not butt naked. I got underwear on. All right, as you can see, the controller does work. It is fairly comfortable. I only wish that they might have included some triggers back here or maybe even up here or at least gave me some room to put some of these triggers like these or the ones that were weirdly included in the box that don't really work with this. That would have been nice, but unfortunately that's not what happened. There might be a chance that I might modify this and see if I can take some of those triggers off those MV controllers and see if that might work. Maybe the ones with the suction cups because it would be nice to actually have triggers for the aiming button and also the fire button down here that I would bring up here. But if you're looking for a cheap grip, this honestly isn't bad. It's it's not bad. It's honestly way better than the other two that I did videos on. If you have any questions on this grip, I will leave the price up on the screen somewhere. I always forget to get myself prepared and know it while I'm making a video. I don't know what this is right here, but it's a really horrible grip glare or glow i know i'm babbling if you liked what's contained in this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you found this video to be lame there's always that thumbs down do consider sharing amongst friends and the rest of the internet i'm also going to be doing a video on two controllers that have built-in fans one of them that actually advertises battlegrounds and one that also has a power bank so you could charge your phone while gaming so look forward to those. I'm also going to be piecing together one of these without any of the grips or anything. It'll be an analog stick and the triggers. So that video will be here as well. So as always, don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button.